Welcome everyone, I'm Arthur from binary-thoughts.net. Today I'm going to cover data types. I'll be giving you a brief overview of what they are and why we use them. Then I'll show you some examples of data types and we will go from there. So what are data types? Well, data types are what we use in programming to structure and store data. Data types can be looked at as containers. Just like in real life, containers are used to store things. Um, certain containers are made for certain objects, and some containers are not just limited to one object. So one container can hold multiple objects of different types. For example, if you were to go into your kitchen, you would probably have different containers for different types of foods and ingredients. We wouldn't put milk in a bag and bread in a jug. That wouldn't make any sense. It would make it hard to use and manage. The same is true with information or data. Um, this is why we have data types. And just like our kitchen, we have specific containers for specific data. In programming, we call these data types. Let's take a moment to uh, review this concept. So these containers hold information, just as uh, variables in math hold numbers. And uh, the type of information that a container can hold depends on the type of the container, which we call the data type. So um, here X can hold numbers, and that would be a representation of its data type, although um, X is an actual data type in C++, unless you actually make it yourself. Now that we have a basic understanding of what a data type represents, we can look about actually using them or look at some cases of some data types. Some common data types, uh, which are more commonly called the primitive data types, as your ints, floats, doubles, uh, boolean, um, depending on the language, would be your string. And then you have some more abstract uh, data types like objects and records, which really consist of multiple data types within themselves. Um, and we'll get into that later in the series, but for now it is just important to know uh, some of the basic data types, and I'll have videos for each one of the data types, the, the fundamental data types that is, and we'll go more into that on those videos. But what we want to go into next is, before you can use a data type, you need to initialize it and declare it. Um, the way you do this depends on the data type itself. But pretty much all of the primitive or fundamental data types are declared and initialized um, pretty much the same. Um, and the way we do this is we we start with um, we start with the data type itself, followed by a space, and then an identifier, which is really just a name. So, for example, to declare an int, uh, used to store integers, um, we start by typing int. And that's the data type uh, represents integer. Like I said, if you're not familiar, uh, check out the integer video, and that will go more into depth on what that represents. Followed by a space, and then an identifier. An identifier is just a name. Um, so pretty much what this statement is doing is it is telling the computer to create a space in memory big enough to hold an integer. And then it's, it's telling the computer that I'm going to refer to this integer by the identifier named number, um, which in this case we have an integer named number. So anytime I want to access this uh, this number or this integer in this case, I just refer to it uh, by number, uh, and and it will make a lot more sense once we actually see it in code. But the important part to see here is when you declare something, you declare it by its data type, and then you give it a name essentially. Uh, don't forget to end it with your semicolon. And that's pretty much all there is to it uh, when it comes to declaring it. Now, remember, before you use a data type, uh, you must declare it, and then you must initialize it. If you don't initialize it, um, you can run into compile errors or even uh, runtime errors, which is not good. Um, it's also just good habit to uh, initialize it uh, to begin with. So in our previous slide, we saw what... Uh, declaring is, and now we're moving on to initializing. Um, for review, again, uh, when you're declaring something, all you're doing is telling the computer, hey, I'm gonna need a spot of memory. Uh, can you give me a spot of memory? And I'm going to refer to that spot of memory by this name. 
So again, uh, we just declared an integer uh, and we gave it a, the name number. Um, so that's declaring. Um, when we initialize something, all we're doing is giving it an initial value. So we're taking whatever we declared and just setting it to something. So in this case, we declared an integer and we're just gonna set it to three. And again, this is different for each type of data type. Um, what you can set different data types to depends strictly on the data type. So I, I obviously can't make a very generic example, but I think you get the idea. idea. Declaring is just uh, telling the computer that you're going to use a data type and then initializing just giving it an initial value. Um, it can get fairly complex with uh, really abstract and complex uh, structures. But for this uh, video, uh, it's very simple. Pretty much you're just creating something and then putting something in what you created. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to declaring and initializing. Some things to note when declaring a data type is identifiers. Identifiers can only be letters, digits, and single underscore characters. Um, they also must start with a character, so you can't start with a digit. Uh, you have to start with a, a letter, essentially. And uh, so a valid uh, identifier could be my var, my var123, my underscore variable. Um, things of that nature are valid. Um, things that aren't valid are starting with digits, um, putting a space uh, somewhere in the name, or using double underscores. Um, that's not necessarily true. Um, you, some compilers do allow you to put uh, double underscores, um, although I wouldn't suggest it, uh, because some compilers don't. So you want to make your source code uh, as compatible as possible unless you're uh, working on a specific compiler. Um, another thing to note is that you can't use uh, a name as or an identifier that's already been taken. So if you declare uh, an integer with the name number, you can't declare a float with the name number as well. Um, and some names are predefined. Uh, you can't use like if as a name. Um, different things that you'll learn in the language you won't be able to use as an identifier. And you'll get some sort of compiler or your IDE will tell you that. Um, so it will be easy to, to track down your mistakes and change them. That's just some basic uh, um, things to know about using, a, using data types and uh, identifiers themselves. I think that covers the basic idea of what data types are. And it should become more concrete when we actually see them in action. Uh, find more and be sure to check out my website at www.binary-thoughts.net. Thank you for watching.